What is up guys, Tony here, and today we are bringing back the montage editing tutorials for Mac. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Magic Bolt looks. Uh, many people mentioned in my last Magic Bolt looks video that I was using these preset CCs, and a lot of people were like, A, how do you get these CCs, and B, how do you put them into Magic Bolt looks once you get them? So I answered a lot of people saying, just look up color correction packs all over YouTube, but a lot of people were like, how do I get them into the program? Uh, if you look up how to put plugins or looks into Magic Bolt looks, you always find PC tutorials. So I thought, why not do a Mac tutorial for all of the Mac guys out there using Magic Bolt looks for Final Cut? So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that, how to add a CC pack in here, and how to go ahead and use it. So uh, first off, you can see here I have a list. Uh, one of the CC packs you will not find on this list is Enigma, uh, which is 3N, uh, 3N19MA, I guess. I can't really... Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so you don't see his CC pack here. And I'm going to show you guys how to add that. We're going to use it as a demonstration today. So here we go. On the desktop, I have Enigma's CC pack. And we're going to go to this other Finder window. We're going to go to Go. Uh, to get to your Finder, you just kind of click there. You go to Go, uh, Computer. And then you're going to go to Macintosh Hard Drive or whatever you named your hard drive. Some people name it something differently. Basically just the, the thing that has a hard drive. Uh, you're going to go into Library. You're going to go into Application Support, you're going to go to Looks Builder, and you're going to go to Looks, and you'll see you have all these folders here. Usually if you don't have anything in here yet, you'll just have the basic folders, which are probably like Cinematic, Basic, um, and other things like that, People, and uh, Stylized. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a folder with a group of uh, looks, and they're usually LS3 files, I believe it's LS3. And you're going to take that folder, you're going to drag it into that folder filled with folders and folderception, and you're going to authenticate the uh, change. So you're going to go ahead, type in your password, whatever that may be, and bam, that will be in there. Close that out, close that out, and open up Magic Bullet Looks again. And go to your looks, and you'll see that there is an Enigma CC pack. So there's all of Enigma CCs. And I can go ahead and start using those. Uh, you can also uh, make a look yourself. So you can start off here and go into tools. And you can add saturation. You can add uh, some lens flares. And you can boost those up. And then you can actually save these looks themselves. You can basically title the look. And then you can go to file, uh, save, ex export look as dot, dot, dot. And then it saves it to like your desktop. And then you can drag it back into the looks folder and I actually have my own folder here with one look I've created so far um, that I decided to save it's this Rasta look which is green yellow and red so yeah that's pretty much that uh, I wanted to show you guys how to basically save looks into a folder and uh, how to plug those in uh, any CC packs you have or any custom looks you have uh, mainly because there are no tutorials that I found that are good on the Mac platform and this is of course is a uh, editing series tutorial dedicated to the uh, Mac editors out there. So uh, thank you guys for supporting me so far. I just want to have a little quick message about uh, the 1K editing pack. We are nearing 1K. Uh, once I hit 1K, I'll do a video talking about thank you for 1K and all that stuff. And in that video, I will be discussing when the pack will be coming out. It probably won't come out until a few days after I hit 1K because once I hit 1K, I have to go ahead and start working on getting the pack together, which could take a couple days and it is going to be a massive uh, editing pack, so get ready to you know, free up like 50 gigs on your hard drive, because that's probably how big it's going to be. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I am Tony. This is my uh, finally getting back into the montage editing tutorial series. If you guys want to see more of these montage editing tutorials, if you're a Mac fan and you edit on Mac and you want to get better, watch these videos. I'll help you out. I'll help you get to be one of the best editors on YouTube, uh, similar to Baker, similar to... Um, lots of other great editors like Agony while using a Mac, which is you know pretty difficult when it comes down to it. So that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.